on your screen is the little jack of the jungle. The question is, the friction coefficient between the box or the crate on which jack is standing, the friction coefficient between that and the rock below is mu, the crate. Can you see the box crate? Find the maximum force that jack can exert on the rope so that the board does not slip on the floor or the box does not slip on the floor. Floor. In other words, what should be equilibrium should be there. Point number one. And what is the maximum force that the jack can pull the rope with that the equilibrium still maintains? I'll give you time to solve this question. Okay, understand the physicality. If the jack pulls the rope down, the rope pulls jack up. As a result, this tension gets transmitted throughout and finally the crate or the box gets pulled to the right but the box does not go to the right right away because the friction acting between the rock and the box or the crate stops it from going okay as the jack pulls harder the magnitude of tension force increases, right? As a result, the force on the box increases because if this is T, this is also T because all the pulleys and the strings are ideal until unless mentioned otherwise, okay? So, fairly simple. Because of Jack's effort, ultimately, the box gets pulled towards right. If Jack makes more effort, the box gets pulled more and as a result, the friction needs to increase itself so that the box does not move. But increase in friction has a limit. Friction cannot go endlessly up. It can go up to a limiting value and that limiting value is Fs max, right? In other words, the maximum effort of jack the maximum effort of jack till no slipping happens is when the friction acting between the box and the ground is Fs maximum. That's point number one. Point number two. Whatever force jack pulls the string with is nothing but the tension force. Why? Because the string is massless. I, I told you, if this is a string and it's hanging, and you pull the string, you pull the string down with the force F. Then if you draw the free body diagram of the, let's say a very small part of the string, then you are pulling it down with F and the tension force is pulling it up. But it's massless. And I told you, when a body is massless, the net force on that massless body is always zero. That implies T is equal to F. Is this physicality of the question clear? Two things remember. The force with which the boy jack pulls down, the rope pulls jack up and the force acting is nothing but the tension or external force. They both are equal in magnitude. Hint number three. Instead of tre treating them separately, why don't you treat jack and the box, jack in the box as one system? And there you go. For your perusal, I have drawn the FBD and I will wait for 30 seconds if you can give me the right answer. What are we looking for? You are looking for the value of tension T. Can you balance the forces both in X direction and Y direction and give me the answer please? There will be two T's acting, right? One on the hands of Jack. You can see this. One, because of the lower string. So there are two tensions. Why? Because string is attached, string is in Jack's hands, force one, and the string is attached to the box below force two. 
of course the weight did you notice i combined the weight m plus mg together because it's a it's a system okay then i drew the normal reaction from the ground below as n do you realize i did not consider the contact force between the boy and the box why because they are in my system so nor do i care about the normal force between boy and the jack and the box i also don't agree, uh, consider the friction between jack and the box why because they all are internal forces and i don't need them you have the fbd balance the force in x balance the force in y and tell me the value of t and that will be your answer Ready? Balance the force in X. T plus N is equal to M plus Mg. Equation 1. This is for equilibrium in Y direction. Agreed? Good. For equilibrium in X direction, T is equal to Fs max. Equation 2. Also, Fs max is equal to mu n. Can I use all three facts and make sure I combine them? How do I do that? T is equal to mu n. Can I take the value of n from equation 1 and put it inside? So, n is m plus mg minus t. Or T is equal to mu m plus mg minus mu t. Can you give me the answer now? Come on, come on, come on. T plus mu t is equal to mu m plus mg. T 1 plus mu is mu m plus mg and i'm about to have the answer the t you are looking for is mu m plus mg upon 1 plus mu <clears throat> do you agree is this the force which is the maximum the boy, Jack, can apply that there is no slipping. What happens if the force applied is more than this? There will be slipping. Since I asked this question in an objective sense, the answer is A. The answer is A. Okay. 